Tesla's story, from startup to electric car empire. Many people might think that electric cars are a relatively new innovation. Before the Prius and Nissan Leaf became popular in the early 2000s, electric cars were a spectacle and not taken very seriously. In reality, forward-thinking minds have been experimenting with electric cars since the 19th century. Since then, the personal automobile has changed a lot and so has our planet. The types of propulsion used by cars has changed multiple times too, starting with steam, then electricity, then fossil fuels, and back to electricity again. It's little wonder why electric vehicles have been able to make such an impressive comeback in the 21st century, especially with their promises for an environmentally clean future. Modern EVs are much more efficient and realistic than their 19th century predecessors, and they seem poised to stick around for the foreseeable future. Massive innovations in battery technology, production, and infrastructure have allowed modern EVs to flourish. Of all the EV manufacturers in business today, Tesla is by far the most recognizable. From Singapore to Israel, environmentally conscious buyers have flocked to the Tesla brand in droves. Today we're exploring the lesser known origins of Tesla, revealing how they went from a small startup to the electric car powerhouse they are today. It was anything but easy getting their unprecedented technology off the ground, and it required enormous amounts of ingenuity, but few would doubt Tesla's achievements today. Thanks for joining us, and make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Let's get into it. Tesla's Beginnings Our story begins back in 2003, when business partners Martin Eberhand and Mark Tarpening founded Tesla Motors. The two shared a vision about the future of the automobile, which they viewed as being electric rather than gas-powered, due to the impending threat of climate change. Eberhard, an electrical engineer, started Tesla after experiencing the limitations of electric vehicles firsthand. In the early 2000s, he owned a prototype EV1, a goofy-looking electric vehicle produced by General Motors. Although he loved the concept of driving an electric car, the limited range and performance of the EV1 frustrated him. In addition to the EV1, another electric vehicle also caught Eberhard's eye, and this one was a sports car, the AC Propulsion T0. The T0 was an early electric roadster that utilized a completely electric powertrain and could blast from 0 to 60 in under 5 seconds. At first, the T0 used lead-acid batteries and had a limited range of 80 to 100 miles. However, once Eberhard became involved, he provided funding and expertise to convert the T0 to a lithium-ion battery pack instead. The new lithium-ion T0 sprinted from 0 to 60 miles an hour in just 3.6 seconds and had a maximum range of 300 miles. Eberhard had realized that the key to unlocking the full potential of electric vehicles lay in the battery's technology. Existing batteries were heavy, expensive, used hazardous lead, and had limited capacity. At first, Eberhard wanted AC propulsion to mass-produce the lithium-ion T0, but after failing to convince the creators, he decided to make his own mass-produced version of the T0, featuring lithium-ion batteries. Eberhard teamed up with Mark Tarpening, a computer engineer and entrepreneur, to form Tesla with a shared mission. Revolutionize battery technology for electric vehicles. They named the company after inventor Nikola Tesla, a Serbian inventor responsible for discovering alternating currents, which form the basis of EV designs. Finding and Funding the Master Plan In the beginning of any startup, money is a big part of getting the ball rolling. In 2004, Martin Eberhand and Mark Tarpening began looking for investors for Tesla Motors, pitching their advanced battery technology and their vision for a new generation of groundbreaking electric cars. Eberhard used a version of the AC Propulsion T0 with lithium-ion batteries to wow potential investors, 
showing them the car's exhilarating electric performance and range. It was around this time that Elon Musk, the eventual founder of SpaceX, joined the company as an investor, later becoming chairman. Musk happened to test drive one of three lithium-ion AC propulsion T0 prototypes, and he immediately fell in love. After failing to convince the creators to electrify his Porsche, Musk got Eberhard's name, and soon the two started talking. Musk contributed $6.3 million in Tesla's Series A funding round and became the chairman of the board. He shared the founder's vision and saw the potential for electric vehicles to become a mainstream mode of transportation. Musk also drew in even more investment money from Google co-founders Larry Page and Sergey Brin, in addition to some other high-profile investors. In total, Musk helped raise a total of $105 million in private funding to the startup brand. Musk's involvement was crucial for Tesla financially, as without his investors, making a full-fledged electric production vehicle based on the T0 would have been nearly impossible. With funding secured, the ball was ready to start rolling for Tesla Motors. In 2006, Tesla published their secret Tesla Motors master plan, which laid out the company's long-term vision. This plan consisted of four key steps. Create a low-volume, high-cost sports car, which would eventually become the Roadster. Use the money from the sports car to develop a medium-volume, more affordable car, which would eventually become the Model S. Use the profits from the second car to create an even more affordable, high-volume car, which would become the Model 3. And provide solar power and energy storage solutions to reduce overall dependence on fossil fuels, which would eventually become Solar City and Tesla Energy. This master plan was essential in guiding Tesla's future endeavors and allowing the company to evolve from a niche player to a market leader in the automotive industry. The Tesla Roadster In 2006, Tesla finished creating their first electric car, the Tesla Roadster. It was unveiled in July in front of 350 invitation-only spectators at the Santa Monica Airport, before being introduced to the public at the San Francisco International Auto Show in November. The Tesla Roadster was an absolute game-changer, proving that electric vehicles could be both stylish and be high-performance. The Roadster had a range of 245 miles on a single charge, making it one of the first mass-produced viable long-range electric vehicles on the market. In 2006, the Roadster pumped out 248 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque, which jumped to 288 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque by 2010. Tesla based the Roadster on the Lotus Elise chassis, and its innovative design and technology garnered significant attention. Tesla engineers developed the Roadster's powertrain from a licensed version of the AC Propulsion T0's powertrain, adding several changes before putting it into production. It was a huge hit with the public upon its debut, even if production was a bit slow. It took until December 2008 before Tesla delivered the 100th Roadster, but by May 2009, production had jumped all the way to 500, despite a model-wide recall in April. Production on the Roadster finally ended in 2012, after nearly 2,500 had been built. Tesla Today Tesla has certainly come a long way since the launch of the first Tesla Roadster in 2006. They've introduced the Model S, Model X, Model 3, and Model Y, and they've expanded into solar energy and energy storage solutions. Tesla's pioneering work has played a significant role in the growth of the electric vehicle market and the global transition to sustainable energy. In 2012, Tesla released the Model S, the company's first foray into luxury sedans. The Model S not only offered exceptional performance and range, but it also introduced innovative features like over-the-air software updates and the Tesla Autopilot semi-autonomous driving system. With the Model S, Tesla began to demonstrate the viability of electric vehicles to compete with traditional gas-powered vehicles on the open market. Following the success of the Model S, 
Tesla introduced the Model X in 2015. This all-electric SUV had the iconic Falcon wing doors and further established Tesla as a leader in the electric vehicle market. The Model X allowed Tesla to cater to a broader audience, paving the way for a more affordable Model 3. Tesla released the Model 3 in 2017 as a more affordable electric vehicle that still had style and performance. With a lower price point and more accessible design, the Model 3 helped make EVs more available to the general public. Since its launch, the Model 3 has become one of the best-selling EVs globally, solidifying Tesla's position as a dominant player in the automotive industry. Tesla's most recent addition, the Model Y, is a compact SUV that shares many components with the Model 3. Launched in 2020, the Model Y has quickly gained popularity for its combination of range, performance, and luxury. In addition to their lineup of electric vehicles, Tesla has made significant strides in renewable energy solutions. With the acquisition of SolarCity in 2016, Tesla expanded its focus to include solar energy generation and energy storage products. Today, Tesla offers solar panels, solar roofs, and Powerwall energy storage systems, furthering their mission to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. And there you have it, the story of Tesla's origins and rise to the top of the electric vehicle market. From their initial focus on high-performance EV sports cars, to the development of groundbreaking consumer vehicles and renewable energy solutions, Tesla continues to push the boundaries of innovation. Thanks for joining us today, and don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. If you have any thoughts or questions, drop a comment down below, and we'll see you in the next video.